Hello everyone, welcome back. So before we move on to adding the next quest type, which is the find quest, so like now that we have a level, we can actually set up like go find this thing, go find that thing, and we'll start doing those quest types, but we need to fix one thing real quick. So if I walk up to this character and I get that quest and I try to complete it, nothing. But if I walk over to this character and I get a collect quest, when I come back to this character, now I can complete it. So I didn't actually have to do anything for the quest for it to be auto-completed. But we're going to fix that because I figured out what's going on here. So inside the quest icon widget, which is the, the button that gets fed into that quest screen, you know. This, hang on. This one. Uh, we need to do just a quick alteration so so right here is where we're clicking the button we're getting the player reference and we're seeing if it's if we've already accepted the quest and if we have then we're checking what type of quest it is and then moving on from there so right here at the beginning on the kill quest let's drag out that player reference real quick we'll get our quest log and then we want to do a for each loop with break. Now I'm going to hook this kill to the completed. So I'm going to just drag that right there. Left control and dragging a wire will let you reposition it. I'm going to hook the kill to the execute. Now for the loop body, we want to check each element and see if the uh, quest ID matches. So I think something was happening and every time you would come back it would get confused and recheck the uh, it would check the wrong one and it would give a false positive so we're gonna just break open the array element here so that we can compare our quest info to it so this is the quest info from the player's quest log this is the quest info from the actual button and then we want to see if the quest ID matches. So we're going to search our quest log to find this particular quest. So for the loop body we're just going to add a branch and when it finds the right quest then we want to promote that array element to a we'll call it KQ index so kill quest index. So that'll be where it finds the actual kill quest inside and then we can link this back around to our break so that we stop searching through everything else so once it finds the right one it moves on from there now up here further into the it's getting ugly it'll be alright so right up here up here where we're doing the for each loop and checking each of the things we don't need to do that now so we can just um, get rid of that for each loop and we just need to find an item not find an item we need to get a copy so we'll get a copy of the item at the index that we just found for our kill quest index and we can just plug that in right there oh okay so from right here that needs to go into this branch right here now So we're just getting that specific quest index. We can actually get rid of this also. So we can actually just plug that. Should work just directly right to there. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. Okay, so now it's checking each loop of these values and then adding them to the items checked. So from this for each loop where we're checking the keys and checking the values, from this completed we can hook directly to this keys check where we're checking to see if it's completed move this way over here now it should be that should be all the alterations we need to make so let's take a look so now if I get this quest not complete incomplete not complete so now let me check just a few more things just to make sure 
so shouldn't be able to complete it now. Nope, can't do it. I can complete that one. Let me run back over. Can't complete that one. Let me shoot that bad boy five times. And then now I can complete it. So what it was doing is it was when you would collect this quest and then you would move on and collect another quest when you went back the quest would have been rearranged inside the quest log but it wouldn't register in here. So that's all you gotta do is you just gotta add this for each loop with break right to the beginning so that we can compare each item of the quest log to the quest info associated with the button. And then when it finds the right one, then we just get that index. And then it does its comparison, just to make sure it's always getting the right one. Now you don't need to do the quest ID check up here, so you can just hook that directly into the keys and values. And then from this for each loop, after it does all its checking of the items, once it's completed, you just go through and see if the keys length matches the items checked. If so, then it goes to its complete quest functionality. And if not, then it says it's not complete. Okie doke. So with that fixed, now in the next one, sorry, I have some throat issues. Um, in the next one, we will start moving on to the, uh, the find where we have to go locate an, a certain area, those quests. Uh, okay, sorry. Um, but yeah, look forward to that one in the next one. And now that this is fixed, and we'll get on to that. So I will see y'all in a bit for that one. Bye.